hello lovely crafters welcome back to my channel it's November already and it's cold and raining in my country and maybe snowing in your country for sure this is the rightest time to turn on some fireplace with someone you love because baby it's cold outside Tending a garden can be hard work, uh, can? Why is there a commercial break in your fireplace? Oh, that's because this is the very same fireplace they use in Hogwarts. Sometimes you can communicate through it or sometimes for a commercial, you know. Ah, I see, I see. Cool. Let's make a Barbie fireplace that really works, at least visually. First, you will need some quite thick cardboard and just duplicate what I'm doing. The first pieces are done and now let's stick them together using hot glue or white glue. Now you have to remeasure this distance because yours might be different than mine. And use the number to make these pieces of cardboard. And then stack them together to create some thickness. And put it here. Make sure you have a little distance to the front window, it's about 1 cm. Now let's continue to the next pieces. I'm going to make the tabletop for the fireplace. Create any thickness you like. I'm going to make it look like thick piece of wood. Now just make sure it's right in the middle. And then let's continue to the lower part of the fireplace. If you cannot make sure that it's right in the middle, just measure it. And this is the important part, the phone holder. We're going to put them right here. And this is where the phone will be. 
And then we will need to cover the ugly part of the cardboard using some paper. But first you have to remeasure the thickness of yours. Each part will be in different measurement. And here I'm using brown package paper just to match the color of the cardboard but you can use any kind of paper because we're going to paint it anyway. To fix the shape, you can fill the unwanted gap using white glue. And just let it dry. Trust me, it will look good in the end. Now let's continue to a little tricky part of it, the arch window. But I'm sure you can do it. For it to dry, just grab some wasted paper and we're going to make some stone shape like this. This is the look after the glue gets dry. It's becoming transparent and hard like plastic. Adding some more white glue to cover all of the surface. Then wait for it to dry. And it's dried already. It looks a little bit shiny. It's time to paint it. I start with basic stone color, gray. Let's continue to the second layer of the color, black. Use a very very fair amount of it, because it will be just an accent of the color. And then I'm adding some more brown, just a very very fair amount of it. Just do the color layer by layer till you're happy with it. Then let's continue to paint the wooden tabletop. This is how I do it. Use two kind of different brown colors. And then for the finishing touch, I'm adding some little twigs I found in my backyard just for decoration. And we're done. 
Jan, how do you like it? Now let's set the fire on using a phone. So this is the phone I'm using. This is perfectly fit, but if you have a different size of phone, you can adjust your own fireplace size. It's not a rocket science math. Now turn on the YouTube, click fireplace and choose any fireplace video you like. And put it in. I feel warm already, even by just looking at it on my desk. Thanks for watching, I hope you liked the video, don't forget to leave your comment down below, don't forget to like and subscribe, and see you in my other video. Happy November! Bye!